Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do my March 2019 book haul. Before we start guys, just a quick disclaimer, I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to share with you guys all the books that I got that I have here with me right now. And um, if you are not comfortable with this kind of video, you can click out and find other videos that you might be interested with. Because guys, I don't want you to think that I'm bragging or showing off. I'm here to share with you all the books that I want to share with you guys. So that's it. Um, kaya kung hindi ka okay sa ganitong video and naiisip mo na nagyayabang ako, this is not for you. Um, you can find other videos na baka interesado ka. Because you're here on my channel and everyone knows me that I do monthly book haul. So yeah, for the sake of my viewers who's been waiting for my book haul, for this book haul, gagawin ko to guys. So yun, kasi um, hindi ko alam kung nakita nyo sa bookstagram ko, dapat hindi ako mag upload ng book haul ko this month. Pero ang daming nagsabit na mag-upload daw ako, wag ko daw isipin yung ibang tao. Yung mga nagbibigay ng negative comments, wag ko daw pansin. And though, konti lang naman sila, bilang na bilang. But anyway, let's proceed with the book haul. I don't know where to start, but I got 60 plus books. Meron ako 60 plus books here. May iniintay pa akong isang package, pero hindi ko na siya kayang intayin. Kailangan ko nang mag-film kasi by tomorrow, uuwi na yung sister ko and um, makawala na ako ng time para mag-film. Ihuhuli ko na ulit guys yung National Bookstore. Um, lahat, uh, medyo, na, medyo napadami kasi yung from online shop. So, yun. Um... Let's proceed with all the books from Mint Books PH. Sobrang gaganda ng libro nila doon, guys. You should check them out. So, I will link their Instagram and Shopee down in the description box so you can check them out. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have nine books here from Mint Books PH. The first book that we have here is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. The reason I really love the cover, that's the only reason why I have this book. And yeah, that's the only reason I'm so excited to pick this one up. Kasi feeling ko, ang lakas makarapunzel. Hopefully, ganun. Pero ang, ang lakas makarapunzel nung cover niya. Kaya ko siya kinuha. So, I'm so excited to pick this one up. Hopefully, ganun yung story niya. But it's about three sisters with magic and curse. That's all I know about this book. You know me, I don't read summaries or synopsis at the back of the book. So, yeah book that we have here from Mint Books PH is Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian. This is the second book of The Ash Princess and Ash Princess is one of my favorite reads last year and I'm so excited to pick this one up as well because it's the second book and I'm really excited to uh, see more of The Ash Princess and sobrang ewan ko, ewan ko, sobrang nagustuhan ko Ash Princess as much as I like Everless. So that's it. But the next book that we have here is Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is recommended by my best friend Marie Tony Cruz or Tony Cruz. Um sobrang nagustuhan ko siya in a way na sobrang creepy niya, minsan nakakainis na. Binasa ko agad siya once I got this book and I must say talagang creepy siya, guys. If you want to have that kind of read na mahihirapan kayo magbanyo. I highly recommend this one. Pero medyo expensive siya for a paperback format na manipis plus contemporary. But still, I got it and I'm so excited for you guys to try this one. Next book that we have here from Mint Books PH is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. You know that I love The Hate You Give written by Angie Thomas. It's her first um, it's her first book and nag-trending agad siya. Nag naging maganda yung feedback dun sa librong yun. So, I'm gonna try this one. As far as I know, meron ditong rap. Yung mga rap battle or I don't know. That's all I know about this book. But anyway, it's written by Angie Thomas. I'm gonna try it out and see kung ano pang kayang i-offer ni Angie Thomas. Plus, it's a signed first edition. So, it's a signed first edition and it made me so happy kasi signed, uh, signed book siya. So, yun. That's it. 
next book that we have here is Once a King by Erin Summerill. This is the third book in Clash of Kingdoms novel. Um, the first book is Ever the Haunted. The second book is Ever the uh, Ever the Brave. And this is the next book, the third book, Once a King. Um, wala pa ako no second book, but I'm currently searching for the second books. The next book that we have here is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Scholte. Yun ba yung pagpupronounce niya ng name? I don't know. Basta yun na lang ipupronounce ko. Astrid Scholte. And, um, hindi ko alam kung sino, pero may nag-recommend sa akin ito from Philborgs, which is our, uh, our club. So, sabi ko, sige, I'm gonna try it since may nag-recommend. Maganda daw siya. So, that's it. And the next book that we have here is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, nakita ko siya kay A Clockwork Reader and nagustuhan niya tong book na to. Ewan ko, basta about uh, basta ni-recommend ni Emma Books and ni um, Hannah from A Clockwork Reader. Um, talagang gusto ko din sila. Ewan ko, hindi ko naman hindi naman precisely na lahat ng gusto nilang book na gugustuhan ko pero most of the books that they recommend and talagang nafi-feel ko talagang talagang gustong gusto ko and nare-relate ako so yon i'm gonna try this out and ang dami nagsasabi na sobrang ganda nitong book na to so i'm gonna read this as soon as possible and that's it the next book that we have here is a curse so dark and lonely by Brigid Kemmerer Kemmerer Kimi, I don't know how you pronounce her name. I'm so, so sorry. But this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. You know me that I really, really love retellings. And isa na doon ang Beauty and the Beast. Gusto ko yung retelling ng Rapunzel, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. Yun yung mga gusto kong nire-retell ng mga author. And this one, it's a Beauty and the Beast. So I'm so excited to pick this one up. There's romance, of course. There's gonna be curse and dark magic in this book. So, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to pick this one up. Baka ngayon ko rin siya basahin this month. So, we'll never know. We'll see. I, I guess I'm gonna do a TBR for this month. So, yeah. Last book that I got from Mint Books PH is The School for Good and Evil, A Crystal of Time by Saman Shanani. You know, I really, really love The School for Good and Evil series. And I'm excited kasi magiging movie na siya as far as I know. Six books ang meron to, and ito yung fifth book. May iniintay pa tayong book six, and then magiging movie na siya. So, nakaka-excite yun, guys. Sino kaya ang magiging actor or magiging cast ng, ng story na to? So, I'm so excited. I really love this book. If you want to start with fantasy, I highly, highly recommend na basahin yung ang The School for Good and Evil kasi okay siya to start with fantasy. So, that's it. Hindi ko maalala kung anong online shop siya galing. But, this is The Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I will link na lang. Hahanapin ko yung uh, online shop na nagsesell ng ganito. Kasi, as far as I know, sa Shopee ko siya nakuha. I will link their Shopee account na lang kung kumahanap ko man. So, yun. This is the collector's edition. I really love the first book, which is The Six of Crows. Sana magkaroon din ng collector's edition yung Crooked Kingdom. And, ang ganda-ganda lang ng cover because I love the combination of that uh, blood red and then black. Tapos, yung side pages niya, guys. It's so beautiful. And, oh my gosh, I'm so in love. I'm in love with the Coco. Sobrang cute Ah, sobrang astig lang ng mga characters. Sobra, oh my gosh. The next book that we have here is Rain the Night by A.C. Goggin. Um, nat nakikita ko, matagal ko na siya nakikita sa Goodreads, pero ngayon ko lang siya nabili. I don't know anything about this book. Um, I don't know if this is a series, a trilogy, or a duology. I'm not sure. But I still got this book kasi... Matagal ko na talaga siyang gustong bilhin. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. But, but merong, nag, merong, merong part sa akin na uh, talagang gusto siyang bilhin. Even if I don't know the summary of this book. So, that's it. The next book that I got, actually books that I got from Second Chance, uh, Second Chance Book PH, is this three books by LJ Smith. Um, binili ko siya because of the cover and it's written by LJ Smith bukod sa kapangalan niya yung boyfriend ko LJ Smith as far as I know is the author of Vampire Diaries so um, hindi siya sunod-sunod guys, ang tatlo pa lang yung meron ako which is book 9 yung Witch Light 
book three, which is the Spellbinder. Binder nga ba? And then the next one is book six, which is Soulmate. Uh, pero ang plano ko talagang kompletuhin siya, guys. Wala lang akong mahanapan ng complete set talaga. Plus, I really love the cover. Ang lakas talaga maka-witchery and maka-magic. So, that's it. Uh, let's proceed with the books that I got from K8S Online. They have Facebook page, they have Shopee account, they also have Instagram account. I will link everything down in the description box. Basta ang username nila is K8S Online. So, the first books that I got from K8S Online is The Percy Jackson and The Olympians. Um, this is all written by Rick Riordan. Everyone knows about this. Uh, lahat tayo guys, kilala si Rick Riordan and ang Percy Jackson. So, I got them and I'm so excited pero hinihiram na agad siya nung pinsan ko. So, ipapahiram ko muna since madami pa naman akong babasahin. The next book that we have here is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, another Greek mythology retelling. So, that's it. Um, feel ko ngayon mag-mangolekta ng mga Greek mythology retellings or mga about Greek mythology. So, I got the Song of Achilles. Si Achilles yung talagang pinaka-familiar sa akin. The last book that I got from K8S Online is The, uh, the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a new release book. Hindi ko alam kung last year before mag-end yung 2018 or this year lang. But, um, ang daming naghahanap ng librong to and I'm so happy kasi <laughs> meron ako. And, Gusto ko sana yung hardbound format, pero ang available lang is paperback format. So, um, I still got it, and ang lakas daw nitong maka Game of Thrones. As far as I know, there's a queen that needs to be protected by someone who has magic. Yun lang ang alam ko. Yun ba? Tama ba ako? And then, there's like a dragon rider. There's, basta, malak ang lakas daw talaga maka Game of Thrones nitong book na to. So, that's it. And, ang kapal niya, guys. Like, ang kapal niya. Let's proceed with the next books that I got. Uh, pero ito from Flourish and Blots PH. Tama ba? Uh, they, have, they have Instagram account na pwede kong i-link down in the description box. So, as far as I know, they, uh, they accept pre-orders. And meron din sila mga on-hand books. This one is The Grishaverse or The Grisha Trilogy, which is The Shadow and Bone. Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising, all written, all written by Lee Bardugo. Actually, this is my second copy. Um, meron na kong naunang uh, copy pero hindi pa siya dumadating. Yun yung iniintay ko guys. So, ito guys, ibinigay ko na lang siya kay Ian Reads, kay Idol kasi gusto niya magkaroon ng copy and dalawa yung ganito kong ba. Ito kasi yung bagong cover guys. And dalawa yung ganito ko. So, binigay ko na lang sa kanya since nag-double yung copy ko. So, that's it. So, let's proceed with the next books. Um, it's na, uh, ito naman guys is from Bocoloco. They have Instagram and Shopee rin. Basta everything will be down in the description box. Paulit-ulit ako guys. If you want to check all the online shops that I mentioned, lahat sila nasa description box. So, make sure to check them out. So, yeah. Um, medyo napadami ako ng libro sa kanila kasi I got the Throne of Glass series in hardbound format guys. So, this is the Throne of Glass. Hindi ko nasusunod-sunod ulit guys ha. And then, Queen of Shadows. Novella which is Assassin's Blade. Tower of Dawn, another novella. Air of Fire. Crown of Midnight. And Empire of Storms. Um, all written by Sarah J. Mass, of course. And then, meron ding... Ah, oh, wait. Lang. And then, meron din kasamang Akotar series. Kasama nitong Throne of Glass series, itong Akotar series ko. So, ibinigay ko na lang last January. Alam niyo naman na bumili ako ng hardbound format ng Akotar and Akomath. Pero, binigay ko na lang siya kay Kim, kay Kim Reads. Um, kasi gusto niya magkaroon ng copy so binigay ko na lang sa kanya instead of magkaroon ako ng double ulit na copy so ang kailangan ko lang naman is the hardbound format ang hinahanap ko na lang sa Throne of Glass series is the UK paperback format 
ang hinahanap ko naman sa Aquatar series is the US paperback format. So, that's it. Um, sobrang saya ko kasi favorite ko talaga si Sarah J. Mas. So, that's it. The last, the last books that I got from Bocoloco is Grisha Trilogy again. The Grisha verse. But this one, but this time, this is the old cover, yung paperback format nila. And then, merong kasamang map. So, yun. Um, ito, sarili ko tong copy. This is mine. But again, I'm waiting for the new covers na dumating dito sa, sa akin. So, yun. Bale, dalawa yung copy ko. Yung old cover and the new cover. So, let's proceed with book.inc.2019 the first book that we have here The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins you know that I'm collecting or hoarding mystery thriller novels and ito daw maganda, uh, maganda daw siyang basahin so I'm gonna try it out as far as I know movie na rin to pero hindi ko pa nababasa or napapanood pareho so hindi ko pa nababasa or hindi ko pa rin siya napapanood so um, I'm gonna try it out. And then, let's proceed with the next one. Ito set ulit, guys. This is the Red Queen series. I have the Red Queen, the Glass Sword, King's Cage, and War Storm. And I have, I also have the novella, which is the Cruel Crown. So, that's it. Um, ito talaga, guys. Meron ako ng first book noon, Red Queen. Pero, pinamigay ko siya sa cousin ko. Kasi, hindi ko talaga siya nagustuhan. Pero, the reason why I got this box, kasi I'm gonna try it out again. Kasi, hindi ko talaga feel ang dystopian books way ba, uh, when I was in high school. I really don't like dystopian books. So, I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I'm gonna like it this time. So, we'll see. Madam, ang dami ko kasing nakikitang mixed reviews about this book. Kasi, yung iba hindi nila gusto, yung iba gusto. Pero, lagi kong sinasabi, sabi ko nga, Sab Lagi ko tong sinasabi, guys. You will never know if the books or if a certain novel is good if you're not gonna try it out yourself. So, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> Again. So, the next book that I got from book.inc.2018 is two books to actually. The first book is Caraval and then the next one is Legendary. This is both written by Stephanie Garber. As far as I know, it released na yung third book which is Finale. Yun ba? Yun ba yun? I'm not sure. Basta, i -re release na yung third book. So, buti na lang, I got the first two books. So, yes. Let's proceed with the last two books that I got from book that inc.2018, which is Circe by Madeline Miller or Madeline Miller. Um, siya din yung author ng The Song of Achilles. So, sabi ko sa inyo, I'm into uh, mystery thriller and also Greek mythology retelling. So, that's it. The reason, ang ganda rin talaga ng cover ng Cersei. Last book that I got from book.inc.2018 is Mythology, Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes. This is the 75th Anniversary Illustrated Edition by Edith Hamilton. So, may ganito na yung cousin ko. Actually, ito yung pinaka, <laughs> pinaka nagustuhan ng mga kapatid ko na libro. Um, Everyone in this house, my dad, my two brothers, my sister, my boyfriend, even me, even my cousin, we really love Greek mythology. Mas interested lang sila sa Greek mythology kesa sa akin. So, bukod sa akin, yung boyfriend ko, yung cousin ko, yung daddy ko, ang makikinabang ng librong to. Even my sister Sobrang gusto nila ang Greek mythology. That's why I got this book kasi hindi lang siya for me. For the whole family na rin siya. So, that's it. So, those are the books that I got from online shop. Let's proceed with Fully Book and National Bookstore. I got, um, let's proceed muna with Fully Book. Um, I got, I got six books from Fully Book. Yung lima doon mismong sa store ko binili. Then yung isa naman, in order ko pa. So, the first book that we have here, ito yung in order ko, which is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is the author of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And you know that I really want to read that book. This naman, ito naman, this time. This is my most anticipated release this 2019. So, I finally have it in my hand. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited isasama ko din to sa TBR ko for the month of April. So, yes. Um, 
as far as as far as I know, there's romance in this book. There's about there's something about music. There's something about bands and stuff like that. So if you really like if you like that kind of book, if you like that kind of uh, plot, then you're gonna love this book. The next book that we have here, ito naman binili ko from Fully Book mismo yung store. This time, this is from my own money naman. The first book that we have here is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a YA thriller novel as well. YA mystery thriller, I'm not sure. But, nung binabayaran ko to guys, sabi sa kanong cashier, this is one of the most controversial books right now. I don't know if hanggang ngayon, pero naging controversial book siya. And at the same time, sabi sa akin ng cashier, I have two choices. It's either sabihin ko sa parents ko na binabasa ko to for parental guidance or second, wag kong sasabihin. Akala siguro nila minor pa ako but 20 years old, turning 21 this year. So, that's it. Um, as far as I know, Sadie here is taking revenge kasi yung sister niya is namatay or pinatay. So, yun. Uh, then bigla na lang nawala si Sadie and she's seeking for revenge. The next two books that I got from Fully Book is Stalking Jack the Reaper and Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco. Um, this is the first two books. Uh, uh, mapapansin nyo, wala pa yung third book. J just wait. Um, hindi available yung third book sa Fully Book, pero positive ako guys na available siya sa National Bookstore dito sa Batanga. So, at least yung first two books meron ako. And yeah. And the last two books that I got from Fully Book is uh, One of Us is Lying and Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus. Um, this is a YA mystery book as well. Um, I don't know if connected tong dalawa or magkaiba siya ng story or I don't know, I'm not sure. Ito guys, binigyan ko ng ganito si Tony nung birthday niya kasi mahilig siya sa mystery books. So, ito yung regalo ko sa kanya. But, since I'm into mystery books right now, I got one for myself. And this is the second book. As far as I know, recent release tong two can keep a secret. So, yun. Let's proceed muna dun sa mga pinasabay ko. Actually, dalawa lang naman sila. Gusto ko lang silang pasalamatan. The first one na pinasabay ko is Ashes in the Snow by Ruta Sopetis. This is Phil Borg's Book of the Month pick for the month of March. So, hindi ko pa siya nababasa. Hindi ko alam kung pansin nyo na may plastic pa siya. Kasi guys, katulad nung sabi ko dun sa vlog ko, hindi ko pa siya feel basahin. Um, ayokong pilitin niya sarili ko kasi baka hindi ko siya ma-appreciate. Eh, ang daming nagsasabi guys na sobrang ganda nitong book na to. So, hindi ko muna siya binabasa. Babasahin ko siya once na ma-feel ko na talagang basahin siya. So, that's it. And, pinasabay ko siya kay Ian Reads. I will link his um I will link his bookstagram and YouTube account down in the description box. Idol, thank you for the pasabay. Next, the next pasabay is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. You know that I love uh, Truly Devious, which is the first book of this novel. And um pinasabay ko naman siya kay Ate Donna, Biblioxytocin. As far as I know, yun yung bookstagram niya. I will link her bookstagram na lang down in the description box. So, Ate, thank you so much kahit ang busy-busy mo. Thank you for the pasabay. Um, this is a YA mystery thriller novel again. And anyway, let's go ahead with all the books that I got from National Bookstore. First book that we have here is Artemis by Andy Wire or Ware. Um, nakikita ko siya sa bookstagram, kaya binili ko siya. And then, the next book that I got from National Bookstore is Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. I told you guys, positive ako na meron nito sa National Bookstore here in Batangas. So, eto, at least complete na ako. Jack the Reaper, Prince Dracula, and Houdini. So, that's it. Let's proceed with the next book, which is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. Um, as far as I know, this is about sisters as well. I'm not sure, but there's magic, rebellion, and defiance. I don't know, but yeah, I got this. Ang tagal ko na rin tong nakikita dito sa amin, pero ngayon ko lang siya binili. So, the next book that we have here is Hidden Pieces by Paula Stokes. This is about our main character, Embry Woods, and she has this deepest, darkest secrets that she wants to keep to herself until her last breath. But one day, 
she received this message or letter and there's like a threatening message and may may inuutos sa kanya uh, to the point na kailangan niya minsan pumatay as far as i know that's how it goes the next two books that i got from uh national bookstore is love and gelato and love and luck by jenna evans welch w welch welk i'm not sure Pero ang dami ding nagre-recommend dito sa akin. Minsan huwag kayong mag-recommend. Charot lang. Um, but thank you pa rin sa mga nagre-recommend sa akin ng books. Ang dami nagsasabi na maganda daw tong contemporary book na to. So I'm gonna try it out. And see if I'm gonna like it. Hopefully yes. Kasi ang dami talaga nagsasabi na maganda siya. So if I really want that contemporary and romantic read, I'm gonna try this one out. So yeah. The next book that we have here is Field Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith. As far as I know, this is a new release book by Jennifer E. Smith. And, um, kinuha ko na rin siya. Medyo manipis siya and mahal siya for this thin book. Um, if, you, if I feel like reading a quick romantic book, I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully, maganda siya. Kasi mukha naman siya maganda. Plus, it's Jennifer E. Smith. Magaling talaga siya when it comes to contemporary and romantic books. So, yeah. The next book that we have here is Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ko to binili. It's because of the three years. Lip, yun yung rason. Promise, guys. Kasi ang ganda nung cover. And this is a mystery book. Like what I said, I'm hoarding mystery books. So, I got this novel. Next two books that we have here from National Bookstore is Renegades and Arch Enemies by Marisa Meyer. So, you know that I love Heartless, written by Marisa Meyer. And ang nababasa ko pa lang, by the way, sa The Lunar Chronicles series is Cinder and Scarlet, the first two books. Pero nagustuhan ko siya. And this time, uh, another sci-fi book written by Marisa Meyer. So, yeah, that's it. Um... I'm not into sci-fi, honestly. Hindi ako masyadong nag-hoard ng sci-fi. I think it's obvious na mas contemporary, mystery, and fantasy ako ngayon. Pero, it's written by Marisa Meyer. So, I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully, uh, mas dalhin pa lalo nila ako sa sci-fi. So, yun. Anyway, the last book that I got is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. This, I got it in hardbound format. I'm expecting talaga na sale siya, pero hindi. So, this is a new release fantasy novel. As far as I know, there's Japanese inspired in this book, and there's assassins, there's magic. Evelyn Sky is the author of Crown's Game and Crown's Fate, which is the two books that I really, really like. And yeah, that's it. So, anyway, those are the books that I got for the month of March 2019. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media accounts. That will be linked or written down in the description box below. Again, thank you guys for watching. I love you and see you on my next video. Stay beautiful and happy reading. Bye-bye.